Howdy folks, let's have a quick look at gas costs. So gas costs are extremely important in Ethereum. Uh, the sort of tagline of Ethereum is that it's the world computer and there's no centralized database. So that means that everybody that's running a node is doing some of the Ethereum computation. And of course you don't want to uh, monopolize their resources with your computation. So there has to be some fee for this service and this fee is gas costs. And so that's what the gas limit here is saying. It says that as your computation churns away and you're writing to the state and so on and so forth, you're consuming gas. And then if you run out of gas, your computation stops there and uh, the contract terminates and does not continue. Um, and this is so that we don't run into a halting issue. So in a transaction, you can set a gas limit. And if you don't have enough gas, all you do is burn up that gas, but the transaction does not get executed. So the gas limit is always set much higher than the gas costs. And we can see from our old output here, some of the gas, as I scroll up, we can see here some of the gas values and then in my accounts I can see here the result subtracting away from my 100 ether. So this function that I just wrote does not cost any gas. So let's write one that does cost gas. Let's say consume gas. Um, Gas is priced in terms of ether, so it does have a real cost, but anyways. So let's do a function called get Jeff, and it's going to be public, and we're going to return just, let's just return a number. So we'll just say uh, uint or an unsigned integer. And when I do this, if I'm returning an int, I don't need to specify that it's in memory. That's only for that string there. And then let's say here that I'm returning a variable called Jeff. Of course, I haven't created undeclared identifier. So I will just go up here and I will create variable Jeff and let's just initialize it to one. So I have a 256 byte uint Jeff equals one. You could just type uint, oops. You could just type uint Jeff and it will default to uint 256. But we can see here um, that remix gives me all of the, of the uint. So when you start actually optimizing your gas usage, if you know the value, for example, will never be very big, you can restrict it to uint 24s. Anyways, we'll just keep it as 256. So that should give me a get Jeff value. So let's delete my previous contracts, scroll down the bottom here, and deploy. So here's my new contract. I have a new function here called get Jeff. So straight away, Let's, first of all, let's have a look at my ether. So I have 2926 down the back end. So after I call hello, I said hello does not cost any gas. There's my string. And I have 2926 down the back end. So now let's call get Jeff. I will click on this. And it says here that the uint is now set at one. So let's have a look at my gas, and it's also set at 2926. So let's do that one again and have a look, and it's still set. So this one is free as well. And that is because I haven't actually done any updating. I've set my variable Jeff, and then straight away I'm returning it. So let's get in here and say Jeff plus plus. So every time I call get Jeff, I'm going to add one and return. Is that going to work? This modifies the state and requires the default. So what we have to do here is take away that view keyword. And now back to my solidity documentation, I'm into this case here, number six, 
if it's not marked view or pure, then I am modifying the state. So let's see what happens here. Jeff plus plus. So I will delete this one. Deploy a new contract. Uh, have a look. Oh, hello. Let's just have a look. 2889. So I deployed a new contract. So my ether has gone down. So this is my new standard that I'm just looking to compare to. And I'm going to call get Jeff. And status here. So there's Jeff set to two. And have a look here. And now I'm at 4767. So sum of the gas has been consumed in this line here, Jeff++. So if I were to comment that line out, I'd be back to gas free. So there it is, that one is consuming gas. So when you're first playing around with this and planning uh, your contract, you don't have to worry too much about gas, uh, especially if just for education, you're never planning on actually deploying a contract. But when you are testing for deployment, gas is going to add up very quickly. And of course, it's dependent on how much the ether is valued at that time as well.